Exactly. Let's go back zamani kidogo. Uh, kwenye Lunduno kabisa. Yeah. How it started? You were very big kwenye Lunduno. You're still big. Lakini nini kili happen? Um ni, ni watu hawa hao walosababisha mkajisi mko kwenye gereza ndo walosababisha hiyo situation yote? Au nini kilitokea haswa kwenye Lunduno? Ah, uh, kilichotokea mwanzo ilikuja tulipewa tulipewa eh tulikuwa chini ya record label um, M Lab so M Lab ilifanya kila record label inafanya kwa ajili ya artist wake awe public umeona and, and that's why we were so big um, the problem ilikuja well they ku, kuna centralized way of distribution ya kazi umeona and kitu ambacho nilikipenda mimi binafsi uh, why i stuck with M Lab and i still appreciate them ni Duke ni mtu ambaye alikuwa transparent sana. Label yetu nzima ilikuwa transparent sana. Kwamba kazi yako hii hapa imeshelewa. Nobody's getting paid anything kuipokea kazi yenu. Tunaenda wote tunaitambulisha huyu ndo mtu ambaye anapokea mziki hapa interview mnaongea na huyu na nini. Kwa hiyo by the time sisi wenyewe tumeondoka kwenye record label ya M Lab tulikuwa tunaweza kujimanage kwa sababu tulikuwa tuna understanding ya jinsi industry inavyofanya kazi. Surprisingly to live on doka M lab is when mziki kaonekana kama hip hop sio nini na nini na nini lakini all this time everybody was okay with the state of hip hop na kile ambacho sisi tuweza kufanya so should we blame M lab kwamba labda maybe they did something au nyie mli wako sasa no M-Lab. i can't i can't blame M lab kwa sababu even after the record okay. even after the record deal ilivoisha okay. tuliendelea kufanya kazi na M lab na hamkuwa kugumbana au hatuna tatizo lolote then why do you think it happened hiyo mziki kato sasa huo ni upande wa pili. Okay. Umeona? Yaani unajikuta kwamba mimi there was a time nilikuwa blacklisted. Kwa sababu nilisaidia ku design t-shirts za Tima na Konda za Lady JD. Ah uh, so okay. That is on my on my part that was the problem. Uh-huh. You feel that was the problem? No, that was the problem. Okay. Kwa sababu How did you know it was the problem? Uh, there was an event ilifanyika. Um, I was invited. I was put on the banners na kila kitu na kila kitu lakini ile event ilipokuwa inaenda kutokea mhusika ile show akanipigia simu na nimetoka kufanya tumetoka kufanya matangazo lakini nini nimerudi tu home jamaa akanipigia simu akaniambia oya oh, yeah, hey, sponsor flani hataki uwepo who was that sponsor? Sasa yeye majina kwa taja alishiniingizaga matatizo ni mwanzo lakini anajulikana. Is it is, is it a radio? It's a media house. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wao ndo walipiga simu akamwambia ilikuwa ni show ya Kalapina. Ah mm-hmm. uh, asiyohusika na show wa Shuke kipindi ndo wanakutanisha sasa na Chidi Benz kwa sababu previous show tulifanya na Chidi alikuja ndo wakakorofshana. So ikaja the next show ambao ndo walikuwa wanakutanisha. Uh, mimi nilikataliwa mpaka kuingia kwenye venue. Oh Umeelewa lakini kilichoshindwa I was supposed to perform. Mimi nimepewa taarifa the day of the event mchana. Napigiwa simu uh, na Kalapina mwenyewe. One sponsor fulani amesema they don't want you that show. Nikamuuliza kwa nini? Akaniambia 1 2 3 ndio sababu. Na kwa sababu ugomvi wa Lady Jedi uko tayari umeshapata. Hapo ndo katikati ya hiyo issue. Kwa sababu kama unakumbuka zile shows zitakiwa zifanyike siku moja. Oh, okay. Umeona? So nikauliza kwa nini akaniambia ni kusabia ile issue. Nikamwambia okay lakini mimi nina duka la ku print t-shirts. Ndio maana siku zote mimi navaga brand za utamaduni. So, I have a shop. Okay. So dada kanipa mimi mchongo. Ndugu yangu mimi na t-shirts hizi hapa. Nifanyie kitu kwa tukao tunafanya biashara so basically kuna watu walikuwa hawapendi hata ile hela ambayo nilikuwa naichukua on the side ukiacha mziki and wapo wanakupa hela au watu wengine na they never Kwa... paid me nothing mpaka yani mpaka siku naongea hii leo sijawahi kuchukua hela kutoka kwa hao watu watashinkum kwa hiyo ni kwa watu wanatusa why were they doing this nilishawahi kujiuliza maswali mengi sana na nika nikaangalia tu watu ambao wamekuwa wahanga wa hizo situation ndio maana nikasemaga mwanzo kabisa ningesema i'm going to be independent sitaki kuwa tied na mtu yeyote yule nilishajiuliza maswali mengi lakini nikiangalia pia watu ambao wamekutana na hizo kashikashi nikaona mm, kuna mwelekeo wa kuwa pale sitaki hayo matatizo na ndio moja sababu ambao 
Nili sikuacha kutoa albums, sikuacha kufanya events zangu mwenyewe, sikuacha kutoa merchandise kwa sababu nikaona kwamba okay, if I cannot make money through the music itself, then I can make money. So, so the funny thing with that situation is yeah. uh, there was never any sign of any beef. Oh. Yani kwamba these are people ambao tunakutana, we hang, we talk. Okay. Okay. To share oh, ideas, yeah. like any, they just don't. Yeah. Cool. But I also learned, okay, maybe this is how the industry is. And one, of, one of the reasons was I didn't want to affiliate with any team or what. The only people who were mainly affiliated now was Tamaduni. Yeah, I'm sure you did go through a lot. By the time. Hmm? I'm sure you did go through a lot. Yeah, life-wise, you repeat everything. You repeat your family. Yeah. You're wasting your time. Mm-hmm. Um, so, ma, why don't you get a job or do this? So there were times when Buzzo couldn't really give in to those temptations. And I went in, I got jobs, I worked. Then I was like, ah, let me get back to this. But you were... It was still the same thing. Like, you know, the one thing about you was like, I was like, whether they approved or anybody else approved, uh, my fans were still oh, with me. Okay. People know, okay, they're not going to play his music on radio, so yeah. they'll download it. Okay. Well, you're so, yeah. yeah. How could you like maybe I should just leave it if I to in the moment? Like nah, that's never been a thought. Because uh, I wasn't doing music in the first place, Kwa Yudiao. It was just my, my expression. Even if I don't get a million followers, I'll get 10,000. I'm cool with that. Yeah, the 10,000, I'm going to tell 10,000 more, and it's going to grow. And he, uh, there's, there's something about building a career. If you don't build the layers, and you come on a shindo kujenga yale madaraja, kwa mba ulianzia A, uka pige B, uka pige C, uka pige A, uka enda, and uka shoot pale, then Hauna platform amboe na kusupport. Yani the only thing that's keeping you there is the hype. And once the hype goes away, you're gone. So for me, na watu ambao nimekuwa nikifanya nao mziki for the longest time, uh, we built our reputations. And no matter where I go, I don't know if I a day where I'm selling a million records, I earned it. I took the time, I put in the work. That's 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 the history that I want to leave behind. Very nice. He's here again. Is now we're talking on a kind of big stage like right now. We're going to big stage. How do you feel about that? Um, kuna kitu. What do you feel like? Uh, maybe when you call and react more, come and see you come and come. Fikia kwa sebe mi akumbo sana kwa ato. Um, kitu ambacho wua ni nakuaga na kiwaza ni kwamba. Okay, I'm performing. Kuna watu tofauti the kuna different demographics so not everybody is going to get the music lakini nataka niifanye to a point ambayo i am actually clear of what i'm saying it's not just a performance it's i'm actually clear of what i'm saying kiasi kwamba kama hata wawili tu pale mbele wanaimba na mimi then it's perfect it's perfect for me kwa sababu yo we didn't get these opportunities before so yeah Okay, see.